answer is C4. C4, are you there? And A2? A2, C4, Pan of 9? Hello, Pan of 9? Yes, ma'am. You can start the presentation. I don't have any resources to put up a presentation, ma'am. What? I don't have any resources to put up a presentation. What kind of resources? You don't have laptop or mobile? Yes, no, I, don't. I don't have laptop, ma'am. You have mobile phone, right? Smart mobile phone. So you can do that in there? Not that smart phone, ma'am. It's just a small phone. I can only do Google Meet from that. Hmm? I have given my laptop for, uh, like, I have given it to the technician. As soon as I get it, I will do the presentation, ma'am. When? I don't know, ma'am. You should give me that. Ma keep your it when you are getting your time and keep the presentation. Sure, ma'am. So next is uh, 522. Five twenty. Ah, complete. Yeah. Five or six. Seventeen series. Five or six. Five or six. Five or nine. A two. C four. What happened? So now we will go to the next topic. So last class we have seen on that part the path testing. Now we will go with the predictions. Before that, we will do the prediction loops. What is the loop and how we are finding the loops? Okay. So now we will look about the loop. So we have next topic is loops, cases for a single loops, and uh, the how many types of loops are there? Okay. And what we are doing, how we are testing the loop path, we will see in this class. Okay. So, so loop is nothing but a fundamental. Okay, fundamental of to make. Algorithm and list through the test. Okay. Loop, there are four, four different classes. Okay. Four different classes of loops that is single, nested, uh, unstructured, and concurrent. So, loop, loop is a piece of code executed continuously until the condition becomes the false and the testing whether it is proof or not. It will check that the, the loop is. Uh, loop in this sense it will run continuously okay and until we will get the output true or false okay so for that purpose we are testing the path okay for in this loop testing what you are doing is the loop is performing correct functionality we are getting the correct value we are checking in this loop testing okay in the loop testing what you are doing is when you 
if your program is running that time you have to check the loop is performing all the functionality or not so you are checking the data flow okay you are checking the data flow in the loop testing so in this loop testing so for example so you have given the loops so the loop test so everyone know the loop okay so here in this we are continuously executing the one conditional till we are get till that time we have till till that time we it will be run till we will get the execute will get the output from that condition okay so that time the condition the loop will be going on by going on running okay so whether it we, we are checking in this loop testing whether the functionality of that loop is performing correctly or not it will showing the correct data in that loop or not we are checking in the loop testing so each and every program whenever you are writing a some code or whenever you are writing some programs that time you are confident you are you will use the loops right you will definitely use of loops so that time you have to go with that thing okay that time you have to test the loop so that time you are using this loop statement so it is a one part of con control structure testing okay this is a path testing data variable testing and conditional testing okay so types of loop is simple loop nested loop con concurrent loop and conditional loop okay so what we will do in the loop testing is loop testing is done for the some reason because testing can fix the loop loop okay testing can fix the loop issues okay testing loop testing can be reveal performance okay so by this we have you can know the performance of your system program okay so with that loop if you are giving some kind of condition that the condition with that condition we are getting the correct output or not we have to identify that in the loop statement okay so loop statement is helps to loop testing is a help to identify the loop instruction prob loop problems okay what loop problems we can identify by loop testing okay so loop testing is definitely done okay in the program so when the loop is entered during the execution and when the loop is left we are checking in this loop testing when the if it is entering and the word during and the execution purpose during it execution and when the loop is left so in this you have this loop for example we have this if condition oh yeah so if it is running this loop so it will be what it will performing the correct output or not you are identifying this thing in the loop testing so loop testing will be identified this kind of thing so we have the first one is simple testing simple testing okay next is concurrent next step if okay and unstructured sorry and structure loop. so in this loop simple loop in the, in the sense okay in simple loop what you are doing is the simple loop is tested in the following way skipping the first what you are doing is keeping the entire loop okay making the first passing through the loop then the second passing through the loop and the making the passing through the loop which is a is less than b okay n is maximum number of passing through the loop okay next hello next is 
making the b is equal to b minus one or b plus. If you are giving this condition, passing through the loop where b is the min minimum number of available passes through the loop. So we are checking this condition. So this is the diagram of loop. This is the diagram of simple loop statement, loop testing. So this is the condition we are providing in the system. We are giving the condition and loop is continuously going on. So it will check the condition. Okay, if the condition true or false, it is true or it will be run the condition. It will false. It will go on the next stage, next statement. So it will be check. It will be called the simple loop. In next, we have the next step loop. In this next step loop, what we are doing is, so if you are writing the some part of code, so set all the other loops to minimum value and start at the innermost loop, okay? And the, from the innermost loop, perform a simple loop test and hold the outer loop at the minimum iteration value, okay? Performs the testing the next loop and the working outward, okay? Continuously until the most loop has been tested. So in this, what we doing is okay, this is the next loop. Okay, image. Of, so here, what you are doing. So you are continuously performing the loops, okay? Yeah. So you are giving the conditions, okay? You are performing the loops over here. So it was showing that in the next loop. So you are checking the conditional in the next loop. So for example, you have written the code. What you are doing actually, what you are testing in this loop is, I have written the class uh, program, okay, structural void main str string. So you have given the one loop over here. I give in loop for loop, okay. In this loop, we have given the integer. Okay, loop two is best to one. Okay, or loop two. less than equals to ten. Okay. In the loop and, this and then print this is so this is your code. So if you are learning this code, what you are actually output you are getting. Okay. If you are learning this output, so what you are getting the output. Of, so if you are adding, you are getting the output is one to one to ten numbers, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It is printing over as an output. Okay, you are getting the outcome of the one to ten numbers in, in this loop. Okay. So this loop is running as if you remove the this line is equals to so what the output we are getting now if you remove this so what the output you are getting now so it will be give you the one to nine numbers it will be give you output as one to nine numbers. 
so you have to check this kind this types of conditionals they have to check it, this loop statement in the program so you have to test it, these things it, that the performance all the functionality or not loop is performing the all the functionality or not the check the flow of data we have to check in the loop statement next you have the cons conditional testing so in this conditional the developer will test the code logical logical condition so that is both the true and false condition so in the developer in the conditional statement it, it will developer will be test the conditional statement okay so in this what they will do means So in the conditional statement, they will developer will be test the code logical conditional. Logical conditional is nothing but the if is else statements or logical things so it will be tested check in the conditional statement. Okay, it is true or not. We will check over here. Okay, for if we are writing the code over here, if Okay, in this is to ten in is plus two ten. So if condition A is greater than B else condition is then print A is bigger than okay is bigger bigger biggest a is biggest number okay they have to display in the first in our else they have to print print b is biggest value biggest number so you have to print this. This is the thing. So this it will be checked in the conditional testing. So they will in the conditional testing what they will do is they will check the logical functionality. According to this code, a developer will develop the code okay and test the who or for condition. So it will here the developer, developer will be tested. If the condition is true or false, it will be checked over here. If it is true, it will be run away. It is what it will go over here. So if A value is because then it will be printed as A is the biggest number, B value is because it will be print the B value as the biggest. Benefit of a condition condition testing is developer will be checked the while false conditional, it will be overloaded the problem. So at that time, the benefit of this conditional loop testing is nothing but A, the developer while doing this development testing the developer will reduce the problem statement in this code okay they will identify that if this is this loop is not working properly so they will identify the problem statement over here and it will overcome with that problem statement in this code are you clear with this conditional testing hello guys Say something are clear with this condition testing. Sorry, loop testing. So in the loop testing is nothing but just they are testing the loop. So okay, what in the loop testing, what they are doing that the loop is performing the all the operation properly or not, all the functionality properly working or not. We are checking the flow of data in this loop segment. Okay. In this we have the four four types, okay. Simple, um, simple, nested, unconditional, un sorry, unstructured, unconditional testing. So in this, the conditional groups will be tested in the conditional state testing, and the simple loop will be tested normally, okay. And the nested loop is tested. Where I just now have given the loops. example of the nested loop. It will check that conditionals, okay. And the next unstructured testing is nothing but it will check the will check this normally it will be checked the thing okay it is not it won't have any specific design okay
uh, interpretation of value and prediction and the correction of variables and the prediction of path prediction expressions okay these things we have in the predictions okay and the prediction coverage and the testing blindly okay and next we have the power sensitivity and the part instruct instrument okay so next we before that we have to go what we have to get the clarity of what is prediction and if prediction is a logical functional evaluation at the decision is called the prediction prediction is nothing but a prediction is are the expression that can be evaluated to the boolean value that is true or false okay it will be evaluate the boolean values okay it will evaluate the boolean values that is true or false may make a decision point can be encoded as a prediction okay that is which act, action should be taken under what condition they will predict in this prediction okay are you clear with this prediction prediction is nothing but one point in it is a it is a point in the program at which it the control flow gets separated okay so that time we are predicting that value will be get the true or false prediction is a functional which logical during one second yes. Okay. Prediction is nothing but if there is a boolean loop, okay, it will be evaluated the boolean loop that is true or false, okay, true or false. If this is true or false. We will be predicting that uh, may may decision deciding the point can be a uh, encoded as a predictor, okay. So what we are we are taking on decision point uh, that uh, we uh, that code will. We run as per our prediction or not we will check so in that is why which action should be taken under what condition so in that condition what the action should be taken we have we are predicting over there okay prediction may condition that to um, prediction may contain what they contain is for the boolean value non-boolean value that are and the relational operations it will be predicted uh, okay, and the predicted value, for example, you have the A is equals to. So the example of uh, uh, prediction is nothing but A is less than or equals to five. This is the one prediction, okay, of our of our prediction thing, okay. So if we in this specific way of prediction is nothing but A. For example, prediction can be do for the both formal or informal requirement, okay, as well as behavior model, okay. Prediction can be done. In the formal way and the informal requirement as as well as behavior model such as if the printer is on that time has paper okay has a paper and the, they have paper in that so this they send the document for print okay so in the printer you have uh, you have the paper the printer is on so in the printer you have the pages so you can print it that your document over there so this is the prediction example okay 
so prediction first give clarity take the clarity of prediction is a prediction is nothing but a expressions okay expression that can be evaluated into the boolean values okay the expression that can be evaluated in the boolean value it will call the prediction okay when the prediction what you are doing means So in this prediction, what you are doing is just we are giving the we are checking the values for or false. Okay, any decision is the, what the action should be taken and what decision they are doing in that prediction thing. Okay, so next we have the uh, are you clear with this prediction? In prediction decision point. Okay, it is a decision point in in the program at which the control for get separated. We are doing in the simple way. Okay, like it's a is less than or equals to five and then is zero is less than zero or greater than zero this will be checked in the prediction next we have the path prediction path prediction associated with the path is called the path prediction okay for example a is the greater than to zero a or x plus y less than or greater than equals equals to 90 w is either negative or else 200 is true or equal to 10 is true so we are doing the path prediction over here okay path prediction is nothing but a um, what you are predicting in this means we are checking the collection of experiment are satisfied based on the input value okay so in the path prediction what we are doing is we, first we have the for example just previous class we have seen the examples of path okay so flow of uh, graphical path okay a okay, wait, nice. So path prediction, uh, path prediction is nothing but if you're having the link of A to B, okay, and B to C and C to D. So if you're having these types of things in the path prediction, so this this first thing is uh, A is the starting stage, okay, starting node, and the T is the ending node, and this middle node is the B, C, d is a path okay is a path of path prediction so in this we are predicting the path path prediction are the collection of expression that may be fulfilled in order to achieve the desiring path so in this what we are doing is we are uh, in this part we are what we are doing we are we are checking that the it will be getting the design path or not we are checking over this in this tag in this thing in last class i have given the path examples okay we have checked in path testing we have done right the and this one is b and c d e so this is our path okay so in this this one is the starting node and this one is the ending okay okay ending node. and this middle is the bc bcd is the path okay and this is the path in this what you are doing is in the path prediction it are the it is a collection of experiment okay so here we have the collection of experiments over here so that must be fulfilled in order to achieve the desired part so it will be checked the desiring part in the in the part prediction okay so it is a collection of experiments are which satisfy the basic of on the input value 
provided, then the input value must be needed all the experiments. So input value fulfill the all the experiment needs of your experiment. We are, we are going in the partition. In the next is we have the multiple branch. Okay, in the in the multiple branch example of partition, x, x is greater than zero, then x plus y is greater than is plus to ninety. So just now I've given the exam that is the example of partition and multiple multiple way branch means it is in the in the switch cases. For example, we have switch cases. Switch state case to sorry case statement switch cases go to jump table cannot it will be it won't having the direct spray experiments like true or false we can't say in this statement we can't say that it is true or false that time we will go with the multi wave branches the multi wave branches is the path it is a path taken through a multi wave branches such as the combination of go to case statement or jump table cannot be directly express the true or false terms okay all those it is the it is a possibility to desire as such so in this what you are doing is So look at this is the example of your path uh, uh, multi multiple wave branches so in this we what if we are not designing by this you can decide that what will be the output of this condition you can't decide it so that time we are using with the, we are going with it we are going with the multiple waves so we in this we have the cases look at case one okay case one we have the case one or else two case two case so or else statement so so in this you can you have you can't say that it will be a true or false so it will be a cases case statement depend on the case statement it will be we will get the output of that thing so it will be called the multiple wave multiple branch okay are you clear with this prediction is nothing but a it will, will be evaluate the boolean expression okay that it will be a true or false we it will be check over here over there okay so only logical state logical things okay prediction is a functional which logical during the design process of the result of the functionality so it will be checked that the thing it will get in the actual desired output or not the condition is working properly or not we are predicting over here okay Next, we have in this prediction we have the boolean values, non-boolean values, and form and the relation to operations in the prediction. Thing. Next, we have the uh, path prediction is nothing but the uh, given the example of path prediction. That is the path prediction. Multiple branch, multiple wave branch is nothing but the cases. Okay. So in this we can if you can say that it will be it will be a, it won't it will be a true or false and we can't directly express it that then the program is true or false it will be come into the multiple branches okay next day we have the prediction interpretation in this it is simple is simple prediction depend upon only only on input value so in this it will only depends upon the input value for example if x, x and x1 and x2 are input okay for example, a and b value, a and b is the variable and it, that is the input value. And it is predicting that b a, a plus b greater than equals to 7. Okay. The given value of x1 and x2, the directly taken through the decision is based on the predicting it. Okay. So you have the two values, guys, A and B. Your input values A and B. 
and you are predicting made be a, a plus b greater than equals to 7 and the given value a and b is directly taken through the decision okay this based on the predict prediction is determined at the input okay and it does not depend upon the process it does not depend upon the process okay another example of a prediction interpreted is uh, assume the prediction of x plus y x plus y is greater than zero that along that path Okay. So, so in this what you are giving the input value it will be say that in it will be a predicting that the input time and does not de depend upon it will be not depending upon your process okay next we have the example of a uh, path interpretation is a X is plus other input value 10 x head and it will be all going on the x to a, a b c p we are going giving the three variables and with if we are we are assigning the something in that so if what actually we are getting output we will look at over here okay so here it will check the about the variables okay and the operations and the process of your uh, experience statements So, in the path prediction expression, see here what they are doing is it will check the expressions of your expression of your uh, code. It will be performing your all the uh, billion expre billion things. It will be performing your, your it will be performing your what you give expression you have given. As per the expression, it will it will be running or not it will be shown in the path prediction expression so in the path prediction expression is a set of a boolean expression okay okay this is the example of uh, path prediction expression for so the path prediction expression is a uh, is a set of a boolean expression all of which uh, must be satisfied the some selection path okay so in this we have some selection path any set of input value that satisfy the all of the condition of the path prediction expression will be focused on the routine to the path okay sometime sometimes the prediction can having the or into it so in some cases it will be having this or into it odd odd things okay so the example of that is this this is the example of our thing okay so here a is plus to a x five less than zero then x plus one three plus x two is plus seventeen less than or it should become real. so like this okay so this is the example of your program in the part exper experiment and uh, sorry expressions okay so in this okay, focus on expression the collection of expression and satisfies the basic based on the input value okay input value but the, then the input value must need the all the experiments it will check over here okay here here in will they check the, the boolean expression also so in this uh, boolean experiment uh, expression is nothing but a b c e e c so it will be go with it will check the boolean expression over here and then, then we have the part 
past tenses as in in the past tenses as in what we are doing means we have three types of past tenses as in things okay okay achable past unachable past okay in this achable past what we are doing uh, okay we we'll go after us first give me the attendance guys guys send me the one by one rule numbers from 16 series hello rule numbers hello are you there 